In this quick video, I'm going to be showing you how I automate voice notes from Slack straight into my preferred calendar and scheduling tool of choice. Let's get into it. This is the automation we're going to be building together step by step. We have a Slack channel listening for a voice note, chat GPT transcribing that voice note and finally posting it up to my scheduling tool. So the way this works, I can post a voice note into one of these channels here. The one we're going to be working with is called to-do list. You can click this little button right here to record an audio clip. That audio clip will get sent to this channel where make.com will trigger the automation and send that voice note to my calendar. So let's get into it. First, we're going to start with a new scenario. You can come down to the search bar, type in Slack. And for this first one, we're going to watch private channel messages. And we need to set up a connection. You can go ahead and click add, set up your connection here. I already have my Slack connection set up. So I'm going to choose a channel from a list and that is going to be a private channel and my to-do list channel. So that is our trigger and I want this to happen from now on. So we can come into the next one, which is again going to be Slack. This one will download a file. That download is going to be from our first Slack module, the files, URL, private download, that private channel. We can hit OK. I'm going to run this automation once just now, let it go through, and it will say, good, we have found that Slack channel, but nothing is happening over here. It's because I have no new voice notes in that Slack channel. I'm going to pull out my phone. This is why I like to use this automation. Get on to Slack on my phone and just record something like, make sure to take out the trash. I send that voice note to that channel. Head back into make.com. We can see once we hit run once, we'll see that new clip come through. We found that URL and it's come through in the data over here. So we can move on from here, go ahead and save that scenario. And in fact, while we're at it, I'll name this scenario demo Slack to calendar. Save it again. Our next module, this is going to be chat GPT whisper for transcription. We want to transcribe an audio, make sure we're not translating audio. We want a transcription and this will take that Slack download. Again, we can add a new connection here. I have my chat GPT connection set. We want to download that file from Slack. We don't need anything for the prompt and the response format can remain as a JSON. Go ahead, hit okay. Go ahead, run once. Now I want to trigger this automation again, but if I run it, we see that it doesn't get past this first module. There are no new messages in that private voice channel. So we can cl click this module here, click choose where to start, choose manually, and we can select that voice note that we want to run. So I'll run this once comes through to ChatGPT. We can see the operation was successful and we can now move on to the second ChatGPT module. We want to create a completion. I have my same connection right here. Completion is just typical. You ask ChatGPT a question, it'll give you a response. We want to create that completion. The model I'm using is going to be the 4.0 and for max tokens, we can just put zero. Now the message, we want to send a message. We want to take on the role of the user. The message we want to send is going to be that text from that first chat GPT module. So we're going to send that text and we're going to give chat GPT a prompt here to read the text below and create a title that I can use as the name of a task on a to-do list. 
make the name six words or less. That'll be the prompt we send to ChatGPT. Read our transcription and give me a task name that I can load into my calendar. I want to test this one again. I'll hit run once. Obviously, we can't do anything, so we need to choose where to start. Choose manually. Choose that voice note. Hit OK, and we can run once. This will come through all the way to the end here. We can see that result. Take out the trash. That is what ChatGPT came up with for my to-do list. Pretty close to what I said. Take out the trash, and we can move on to the next module. Next module is going to be your favorite calendar scheduling app, whatever you like to use. The one that I use is called ClickUp. And for ClickUp, we want to create a task. Create a task. You can add your ClickUp connection here. I have my connection set up. You find your workspace. I have a workspace called Sleepy Sea Monster. The space I'm working with is my workflow. The folder I want to work with is my schedule. And the list inside of my schedule is my work list dump. So I put all my tasks. Okay, the task name is going to be that result that ChatGPT came up with. For the content, in ClickUp, you can add a description to your task. So for that description, for the content, I actually want to put my original text, my original voice note, the transcription from my original voice note. So I'm going to add that from that first ChatGPT module here. We want to add the status. These are the statuses I've selected inside of ClickUp. And so I want to make this a task. Priority, I'll set to normal. I'll just hard code this in here as normal priority. I want all my tasks coming in at normal. That way I can adjust them higher, urgent, or lower, or none. Start date, start time. I'm not going to put anything. So that will be it for ClickUp. I'll hit save. Let's run this one more time by right-clicking the trigger. Choose where to start. Choose manually. Select that voice note. Hit OK and I will run once. This will come all the way through, run through ClickUp. Before we get into my schedule to take a look at that, I wanna make sure that I turn on this automation. So it will run, as of right now, it'll run every 15 minutes. What that means is every 15 minutes, it'll look for new audio notes in that Slack channel and just take them through into ClickUp. You can change the interval here. I'm gonna keep it at regular intervals and actually set the minutes to every 60 minutes it's going to look for a voice note i don't need this running all the time i'm not constantly posting voice notes so i don't need to have this operating all day okay so now it's on it's going to run every hour i'm going to hit save you always want to save these automations and we can head back to my calendar we can take a look at my actual schedule here we have the schedule folder my work list dump and in the tasks we have that new task to take out the trash click it on the little description here we can see that it will show the original transcription as we had it do if i click into that task here it is take out the trash with that original transcription right there priority set to normal so that is in my work list dump if i come to my actual schedule I can see that task in the list over here. I can grab it, drop it straight into my schedule and adjust the time frame, whatever I need to do, place it wherever I want into my schedule. So there it is. That is the quick run through on how I automate voice notes in Slack straight through to my calendar so that I can schedule all of my to-do list items and get my work done on time. Whether I'm out on the go, I can talk straight into my phone, record that note. It'll get sent straight to my calendar and I can put stuff in that schedule. If you enjoyed this video, check the links in the description. They will take you to all the tools you need to complete this automation and get your schedule automated on your own. That's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one.